All right, awkward silence. Somebody's got to say something. I'm the only person here, so it's going to have to be me. Someone must have told them. It must have been me. Nobody will get that except for my family, and I doubt my family watches this channel. I don't talk to my family very much. They're scattered all over the place. I have an elder brother in Perth. That's in Western Australia on the other side of the country, sort of, I don't know, maybe 6,000 k's away or something, 4,000 maybe. Um, my mum, she's in, uh, she's not in England at the moment, but she has been there for the last couple of years. Currently back in Australia, spending some time with uh, family here, etc. Got an elder sister and a younger brother in London. They were there with... Uh, Mum, oh, <laughs> and I don't, I don't speak to them enough. And my excuse is, well, you can bloody well just get onto YouTube and watch me. Is that bad? Probably. rats because now there is no more beer that's all right rocky hills I do enjoy building rocky hills they're so easy to build like seriously when I show you like I built 20 in one day once and that was around other things because there's drying time and stuff involved and especially when you've got your goop mixes and stuff like right on key like you can just hammer through so many pieces maybe I should go put some music on in one of the back rooms that I can hear Yeah, right, the ramble is, in, is uh, ceasing to exist right now. Hey, a whole bunch of awkward silence. That's what I'm saying, I need topics. What else is on my list here? Oh, Games Workshop. <laughs> oh boy, Games Workshop. Now I've been around for a while. Not as long as some of the sort of people that have been into a games workshop. We're not dry brushing. We're picking out detail. Don't do the whole thing. One of the guys in here was talking about going to games workshop to uh, get some lessons, etc. Um, I'd like to know how that went. I'd like to know if you've gone to games workshop and I'd like to know your experiences. Because I've been to some great games workshop stores. And I've uh, met some awesome people at Games Workshop stores. I've never played a game in a Games Workshop store, but there was one just around the corner from me when I was at school. And I used to go in there and sort of check stuff out after school. And then we'd go catch up with friends and go play out at my friends' place or my place or whatever. Um, they just had cool stuff to look at. I noticed recently that they don't have all the handmade stuff. And someone mentioned it the other day to me that they don't have the handmade stuff in Games Workshop anymore. Is it like that at your Games Workshop or do they just have the, the plastic kits that they sell? Like these ones. Because that was one thing I really used to love about Games Workshop was going there and uh, checking out their scenery and what had been built etc. You can see that stuff in the White Dwarf these days but sort of not much in the Games Workshop stores. A lot of it is just uh, a lot of it is just their, their, their prefab scenery kits. I, under, I completely understand that. Um, definitely, I'm a businessman. I've, this is not the first business that I've ran and I understand about promoting your products and if you've got something that you can sell, by all means, sell it. 
But, uh, so I've got nothing against them for that at all, but what is it like that for you guys? But I'd like to know <laughs> what the what the this, this um, yeah I'm not sure what I was gonna say I so, I don't know there's not many places that you can go to there's certainly not anywhere in Melbourne like Battle Bunker like my place where you can just go and hang out and chill out and, and game and all that sort of stuff and sign up for a membership and discounts and all that sort of stuff. Loyalty points and hoo-ha and whatever. Where do you guys go to, to game? There's a lot of people in here on YouTube I've noticed. Some of the big channels, Beasts of War have shot up this, this year, last year. Fourteen thousand subscribers at the moment. Last time I remember checking Mini Dwarf, I mean they had thirteen thousand. <coughs> now they're on twenty-one or something like that. So there's people out there. I mean, if Mini War Gaming has, and certainly I think they're picking up a few more uh, viewers now that they're branching outside of the, the realms of Games Workshop. But there's a lot of people out there watching. I'd like to know, sort of, where you guys go.